The World Elephant Day was created in 2012 to bring the world together to, among others, spread awareness about the critical threats the mammals are facing and support positive solutions that will help ensure their survival. I've been studying elephants for the last 26 years and I know all of them individually by names. For a researcher, Katito Cialel of the Elephant Research Institute, elephants are part of her life. So we are now collaborating, working with Tanzania, so they can try not to do more poaching. And now poaching, we can't even complain in Amboseli. It's the best. And also, in case, as I say, we know all elephants individually by names. When I go out, I do census. I take everybody like present, Alison, so-and-so. So if I miss one female in a family, and I know they, they have their home ranges. I know like if you say like you want to see the KEs, as, as I say, they are ranged in alphabetic order. I know where to find them. So if I miss a family, one female in the family, so I have to report to the park warden and tell her, I'm miss, I'm t I tell him I'm missing this female and so and so. And normally always female, they're all the time together. So it, is, it helps so like reporting immediately if there's something happened outside, it is easy to locate in the rangers and KWS people. The Elephant Research Institute has collected data on elephants in the Amboseli since 1972 that boasts of over 62 families. This is a skull of renowned elephant, Echo, who passed on in 2009. It is only uniquely found here at the Amboseli Elephant Research Camp. Did you know that if you were an elephant, the lower jaw would be used to tell your sex, your age, and probably how you died? But how? Normally, we start to name, we give them names when they are four years and above, four years and above age, because that's the time we know the calf is high chances of them to survive. Because if you see even a human being, child born zero to five, you keep on running all the time to the whole sector. You have like A up to Z and each, the, all the members of the family, the AA's family, we have Alison, Amelia, Agatha and so on. BB's the same, Beatrice, Bala, Brittany and so on, up to Z. What distinguishes one elephant from the other? Elephant, they are like human beings. Uh, because when a male reach age of 14, 14 and 15 years. He leave the herd, join a bachelor group of males. They start to live and learning how to move by themselves. But families, they always, there is a matriarch. Lead the group, where to go and what to do. And normally they do protect the family very well. And, and the uh, elephant, female, they leave sisters, cousin, aunt, until the rest of their life together. But the family, always, the male always remember which family he belong. He come and join the family, feel together with them, and then he leave. Sometimes they don't want to leave because when you live with the heart of the family, it is easy because female, they are very caring. And that's why you, we look at our, our mortality and also our record. We have a lot of females than male. The lower jaw is used for DNA logging and is tagged by sex, age, and family. Father, the cause of death is also recorded to aid in research and conservation. In the last 20 years, Katito Cialel has interacted with the revered mammals and can identify them by name, family tree and sex by just looking at their features. And if you look here, uh, elephant, they have six set of the teeth. So the more they keep on dropping, dropping, the last molar, it is very hard for them to chew for hard stuff. And also that's why you find elephant, they don't get sick because they eat different type of vegetation. It is kind of medicine for them. What are some of the unique traits in elephants? Elephant, they never forget. They always remember. Even if you do something bad to her or he, you always, you always remember you did something bad to me. Elephant, they have very good memory. What elephant they have? They have very poor eyesight, but hearing, they're the best. Elephants are intelligent, emotional, to a point of mourning their dead, but as may be, they abhor bees. They don't a lot at all. Yeah, they, really, they are really scared. Even if they yeah, hear that kind of 
the way the bees make noise, they don't even go close to that place. And that's why now farmers are trying to put bees so they can protect their farm. Can one survive an elephant encounter? Give you because elephant, they don't mean like try to attack you. It's just it's protecting himself. What you just have to do, uh, if you had something you are just wearing, or elephant, because by the time for them to turn, it take like a big circle. So if you go zigzag like that, you can try to manage to escape. Or if you have something like a shirt or whatever, throw it. He might try to f- fight with that one until by the time he escape. Yes, just never approach an elephant from behind. The Amboseli National Park is home to the famous Team and Echo, whose family tree lives on due to the efforts made to stem poaching. An elephant died, whatever the cause of the death, we're going to collect the jaw, we keep here for our record, and that's why they have tags, so, and they have numbers. So when I go to our, we have a long-term record, we keep record. I should know what was the cause of this elephant, what was the cause of this one. To bolster elephant conservation efforts, the Tembo naming ceremony was launched to raise 100 million shillings in the five-year span. Coaching uh, is done by people either within the communities or probably even known to the communities. Okay, because they don't just appear from anywhere. So with intelligence and with uh, cooperation between our various services, we are able to then identify uh, attempts towards poaching and deal with it before it happens. If we don't bring the human-wildlife conflict uh, co- uh, issue on the international agenda on the table, then it will be just cannot be handled by Kenya alone. Because the issue of human-wildlife conflict is not only in Kenya, it's also in the neighboring countries. And we need to seriously invest into a fund where compensation is going to be uh, a priority to resolve issues of conflict and particularly appease the communities in in their efforts of conservation. Katito Sialel believes her work at the Elephant Research Institute has played a key role in honoring the endangered mammals who walk the earth like guardians of a world before. It is very well-known study all over the world. Amboseli Trust for Elephants. Yeah, and <clears throat> that's why they decided to come and do naming here. Although our elephant, they have name, but they can have the second name. But if you believe in reincarnation and it turned out to be an elephant, your lower jaw would be used to tell your age as well as your sex and probably how you died. I'm Regina Manyara reporting from Amboseli Elephant Research Camp for Prime Edition.